Greetings, side inches, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this uh, Saturday, May 13, 2023. Okay, this is my third time starting this, so hopefully it's working now. But uh, happy early Mother's Day to everyone. I hope you guys all had a great day. Also, if you're watching this live after it's already over, you can check down below in the description box. Items availability and the pricing will be down there for you guys. And that's with all past live sale videos that you can replay. Um, but hi, everyone. Let's see who's in here. There's Angela... Uh, Don, West Coast Gal, Linda, hello, Jose, Angel, Cindy, hi everyone, happy Saturday, Dodo Bird, do you guys have, do you guys have a good day? Did anyone do anything fun, anything exciting, any good thrift finds, any thrifting? Hi Rachel, how are you? Oh, I almost dropped my soda. Hi Norma, happy early Mother's Day. Sorry for the technical difficulties because I literally tried to start this three times and it wasn't broadcasting for some reason. I was just like all by myself. I can see like the live chat, but Fadrian says that it wasn't starting on YouTube. So I had to make a whole new thing. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Jessica. <gasps> Jessica. How are you? Oh, I thought about you today because I was <laughs> I found out that they canceled Winchesters so I was like oh it wasn't as good as like the regular Supernatural but like at least it was something but I was just like oh sad hey trip on two wheels how are you Kathy happy Mother's Day hi Lady Badger oh you guys had a PJ party <gasps> oh Sandra we have to check it I'm so sorry I must have missed it Great to hang out with family. Oh, that sounds nice, Dodo Bird. Hi, Marjorie. Um, oh, I need a giveaway question. Do I have one from last time or no? No, this is the one that I use. Okay, I need help with a giveaway question. Tonight, I'm giving away these two items. So, this is a, um, a unicorn, like keychain that has a mirror inside of it and then also this super cute Rilakkuma keychain charm as well that's a little ice cream Rilakkuma bear so we're giving away these two things tonight and oh that's good you know I never even started watching um that new Texas Walker Ranger thing <gasps> Angela! Oh no! I I must have missed it. Vadrian, you never sent it? Was it the pink one? Um, Angela, send me another email, please. I don't know if we I don't know if we like we missed it or sending it. Did you send it to the wrong email, maybe, Vadrian? We might have sent it to the wrong email, Angela. Can you just send me um can you email me again right now and then uh we'll make sure to get it sent to the right one. I think it was that, was it the pink Tory Burch satchel? Yeah, but didn't it, did it sell to Angela? Hmm. Angela, what bag was it again? Also, let me remind us what bag it was. Maybe it was... I don't remember. Ooh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Thank you, West Coast Gal. That's a good one. Okay, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Leave your answer in the comments of the video that I'm going to link right here for you guys. Um, and then at the end of today's live sale, we're going to be announcing our winner. So there's that link. Let me check, Angela. Let me see. Uh... Oh, it was that one. The, that beige one. Like that taupey one. Vijayan, you never sent that email? No, I think she did. Angela, okay, we're gonna send you, we're gonna send you that invoice right now. I sent, I sent Vijayan that email address, even though I'm pretty sure I sent it last time too. 
but, um, no, I didn't watch Eurovision. Oh, the Totoro! <laughs> He's my co-host for tonight. It was that, um, it was like that taupey colored one, right? It was like a hobo shoulder bag that like that one, um, the edge coat on one of the little, on the side part that the straps connected to, it was kind of like, um, cracking and stuff. I remember that one. Yes. But hi, Jezebeller. How are you? <sighs> yeah, I just gave it to you today. It was like a hobo shoulder bag. It has like the, the shoulder strap. It's like kind of like braided almost looking. And it's in three colors. It's like a pink, a uh, burgundy, and like a taupe. But happy Mother's Day, everyone. Happy early Mother's Day. It was not too long ago, Adrian. It was like in like a live from last week. Okay. Okay, perfect, Angela. Vadian will send you that invoice. Oh wait, why am I trying to open another soda? Alright. Well, there's the link one more time for the giveaway. And again, happy Mother's Day to everyone. I think it's already Mother's Day in some places where you guys are. Where a lot of you guys... Oh, wait, no, that's... Ah! Wait, V didn't delete that. What I posted. I accidentally put someone's email. Is it also I let you delete it? Ah, uh, let me try and go in. Anyway... Okay. I got it. Anyway, you guys, happy Saturday. Um, let's get started with the live sale. And let me put the right shareable link right there. There you go. It was the last live, Adrian. Okay. Cool. All right, let's get started. I have a bunch of sunglasses. <gasps> okay. Um, I hope you guys are ready because I think I got some really, really fun sunglasses. I think, I feel like I bought almost more or just as many sunglasses as I did handbags for the live. Probably even more. Because I got so many good ones. Um, hold on, where's my other bag of sunglasses? Oh, here they are. Okay. So I don't even know what to start off with. I already want to keep, like, literally all of them. Because I think they're all super duper cute. How many pairs did I get? One, two, three, four... Five, six. I bought seven pairs of sunglasses. This is unhinged. Okay. Let's... Hi, Steffi! Ooh, Steffi! I got a bunch of sunglasses today. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna start off with these. I think these are so fabulous. Um, these are uh, Mark Jacobs. And they're so cool. <laughs> Jezebel, exactly. Sunglass emoji, smiley face. Okay. This pair is... It's kind of like a cat eye... I don't even know what to call this. But they have, like, this giant lens. It's like a cat eye shape. And then you have, like, the gold braided frame. <gasps> oh my gosh! Happy birthday, Brittany! Also, Brittany, leave your answer in the comments right here of this video that I linked, okay? Then make sure that you're entered. Leave your answer in the comments of that video, and then at the end of tonight's live, we're going to be 
picking winner. But these are the sunglasses. Look how fabulous they look. These are super cool. Um, I don't, what's my favorite ice cream flavor? It's probably... Well, I, I've always loved coffee ice cream. It's my favorite. But Reese's peanut butter ice cream also is another favorite. That's... Uh, Right, Linda? These are so fun. I don't know. These are just, like, statement sunglasses. But they're Marc Jacobs. Um, and they're made in Italy. So they're, like, fancy. All right. So this is number one, our Marc Jacobs um, cat eye silver braided metal frame sunglasses. And these are how much, Peter? Okay, we're gonna do these for $75. And they're in wonderful condition. Really great shape, super duper cute. $75 for our first pair of sunglasses tonight. Ooh, my my um my sister really likes mint chocolate chip. That's one of her favorites. Mint chocolate chip. Okay, so that's item number one. Ooh, homemade ice cream. That sounds really good. No, if it's homemade, it's like automatically just like more delicious. So, yummy. All right, next up, I'm just going to do like a bunch of sunglasses to start off. Uh, let's do... Oh, these are cool too. Okay, these are Gucci. And they're a round frame sunglass. Um, they're kind of cool because, like, they're rounded, but then the middle lens part is a square, if that makes sense. And then they have, like, the little bees on the sides. has Gucci. has a little Gucci logo um, in the little circular part right there, too. But this is how they look. These are cool. A Temu haul stuff. Oh my. <gasps> Ooh! Do you like Temu or Timu? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um. Wait, Vader, did I tell you? That was the one. Was it, were they the ones that sent me an email? They actually sent me an email <laughs> asking if I would, like, do a video for them. And I was just like, I don't know. I'm always, like, hesitant to do videos for anything. But, um, did you. How was your experience, Jessica? Because if, if you liked it, I might, like, try it out and, like, do a video. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I literally... Actually, they sent me two emails, and I ignored the first one. Um, okay, so this is our round Gucci uh, <laughs> gold metal sunglasses. And then the, the lenses are gray. Okay, and these are how much we are doing? Okay, these are going to be 135 These are also in really great shape. Super duper cute. They have a little nose piece. Pieces right there, too. These sit really nice on your face. They have a lot of good HUD. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay. I'm going to have to check it out then. I, I, I was like, I never really looked into it too much. Oh my gosh. I'm like not on, I'm not like on trend. And I need, I love like kitchen organization stuff too. And I feel like we need a lot of that stuff right now. Because I want to like redo all this stuff in the kitchen. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to try this out, Adrian. I'm going to, I'm going to send them an email back. Oh yeah, does it wish take like forever? Like, 10 days, I feel like, isn't too bad. But I feel like um, other places take, like, way longer. Okay, so that was that. Ooh, these are so cute. Okay, this next pair, these are Bottega Venetas. Um, and they're super cool. They're, like, pink. And then they have um, the gold on the top right there. And it's in, like, that Bottega Venetta, kind of, like, in terracotta um design and then the arms are also in pink but they're gold right there where it says Bottega Veneta and then they have the little nose pieces 
This is how they look. These are so cute, actually. Get influence. <laughs> I need, like, um, drawer organizers, like, for the kitchen. For, like, uh, like, to separate the utensils and stuff like that. And then probably, like, organizational stuff in the pantry. So maybe I will try it out and then do, like, a video on it. Because they were like, yeah, they sent me an email asking if I would do a video or something. So I'll try it out. I have no clue about that kind of stuff. I I'll, I'll, Every time I get emails like that, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Is this a scam? I don't know. Oh, thank you, Steffi. Okay. Uh, these are going to be item number three. These are pink Bottega Veneta sunglasses with gold hardware. Hi, Geneva. Oh, Geneva. All the info is pretty much right here. Um, and then down below in the description box as well. But if you see anything that you like that I put the number up on, just um, type out the item number and then mine, like the word mine. And then once I say, all right, it's yours, um, then send me an email, which is right here. And then we'll send you a PayPal invoice. Um, and then we'll ship out your item. It's pretty easy. Uh, and then also we can uh, you can buy up to fifty or to five up to five items, and shipping is only going to be fifteen dollars. And if you only buy like one thing and it's like a pair of sunglasses, we're not going to charge you like the fifteen dollars shipping for that. But if you want us to hold on to your items, um, pay down the invoice, just leave one dollar in there, and then we'll just hold your items and ship them all out at the same time, and that way you can save on shipping. Hi, my fair girly, how are you, uh, Vader? How much are these sunglasses? The Bottegas. Okay, these are going to be um, 130, 130, $130. Okay, so this is item number three. These Bottegas are actually super cute. Wait, what was number two? I missed it. Wait, what did I type? Uh, round Gucci. How much were those? Okay. Okay. So these will be our first pair, or first three pairs of sunglasses, and then we're gonna go onto some bags, and then I'll do some more sunglasses again later. Four is going to be oh my fair girl. He's calling number three. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad you got those because I feel like I would have hoarded them and kept them for myself. Congratulations, my fair girly. These <laughs> Bottegas are so cute sunglasses. You're going to love them. All right. Number four is up next. You're welcome. Don't forget to send me an email to it. Is this your first purchase? I think it might be. Um, first of all, well, congratulations and welcome to the live sales. Um, and thank you for your first purchase. All right. Next is going to be... Um, this is a Marc Jacobs... Crossbody bag. This is actually a Marc Jacobs collection. So these are like made in Italy. I think this bag retailed for, I must say like $800. Uh, this is a quilted lambskin crossbody. It's kind of like a wallet on a chain. It has um, built in card slots. There's a pocket right here when you open it up. But then there's a zipper compartment. And then inside, it has a bunch of card slots, about eight, and then there's another slip pocket behind. The interior is in pretty good shape. It's nice and clean. And the exterior is in, what over here? Yeah, there's some like rubbing like on the back right here, kind of like where that top flap um, connects to the bag. And there's slight, slight rubbing on the corners, but honestly, it's not very noticeable at all. It has gold hardware, 
It has the leather piece at the very end. And I believe this is called the Marc Jacobs Single. My mom has like two or three of these exact same bags. She loves them. And yeah, this is lambskin leather quilted. It's in this like gray beige. It's like a grayish color. And then gold hardware. And this is going to be item number four. So this is a Marc Jacobs Collection Single. This is the name. Wallet on chain with gold hardware and gray beige. And this is going to be how much, Peter? Okay, this is going to be $85. That's going to be item number four. 85 Is. You can also double up the straps underneath and then turn this into a shoulder bag as well. Then you have a shoulder bag. Alright, next up, put this next to Totoro, is going to be number five. And for number five, Oh, okay. Oh, agreed, Vanji. Especially the Marc Jacobs collection stuff. Um, he doesn't like he, that. The Marc Jacobs collection, uh, like that line, is no longer being made. But he just recently brought back the Stam, which was his like it bag from his collection series, and that bag is amazing. Hi, Odelia. Agreed. Yes. Okay, so these are the coolest Fendi shoes I think I have ever seen in my life. Uh, are you ready to see the, like the heels? The heels are a sight to behold. Now, this is like a whole new take on stiletto because these are like, they're literally like nails. It's like a nail and it says Fendi on the nail and it's like metal. They're like so, so cool. They're silver, um, it has like a clear strap on top, and then the, this part that goes on your foot, it also is clear, but then it's silver on top. So you have like both the silver and the, like the clear PVC. And these are a size um, 39. Yeah, they're 39. So they fit like a eight and a half, I believe is what these fit like. So they're so cool. These shoes are like literally amazing. They're a metallic silver, this silver. Um, yeah, they're such cool shoes. Like, I don't even know, like, look at that. It's amazing. I've never seen shoes like this before. Like they are so, so like they're honestly a work of art. Like you can just put these on like, a bookcase or something or like use them as bookends and they'd be fantastic or just like prop them up like on um, on top of a stack of books and put them on a console table or something they're just so cool um, the heel height is about three and a half no about four four inches Four inches. They're crazy. Okay, so this is item number five. These are our silver Fendi heels. Size 39. Inch heel. And these, we're just going to do these for just $150. So we're going to do these at a great deal. That's going to be item number five. They're pretty epic. I mean, like, I cannot deal with how cool they are. Like bookends, these would just be so cool as bookends. 
Like, can you just imagine? Like, one on either side. Like, they're so cool. I don't know. I can't even... And this is all metal right here underneath. So, they're so cool. Mm. Okay, next up, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> I'm gonna have my mom try them on, but yeah, I'm gonna have her try them on tomorrow. She's not gonna like, she wouldn't wear them like normally. She would just try them on for me, but she can't do that kind of a heel anymore. <laughs> next up. We have, hold on, let me just put my drink inside here. I need to replenish myself. Today was kind of warm here in Southern California. I think it was like 83 to 85 degrees where I was today. And it's like a departure from it being in like the high 60s. Just like a few days ago. Next up, we have item number six. And it is, oh, this is the Coach Love Tote. This is a collaboration with, um, what's his name? Uh, Coach. Keith Herring, there you go. I also have the cross body bag as well. I think it's like the exact same matching print. Uh, but this is in a black pebbled leather. Really, really pretty in really great shape. The strap is nice and long, so it's really well on your shoulder. There is a little um, attach, little attaching thing right here to keep it closed. And then Interior it just has one zipper pocket just in there and the interior is unlined so inside is just Suede I think or is it a microfiber? Microfiber, it's, just, it's suede, not microfiber. Suede interior So it's super cool There's the bottom Hi, Something Latte. How are you? Oh, does anyone watch pageants? Um, not really. Kind of like back in the day, we would, my, like, I think we would watch, like, Miss America, maybe. But I don't even remember. Um, but hi, Something Latte. You guys got to give Something Latte a follow. She's also a fellow YouTuber, Instagrammer, and she's also reselling now as well. And we're going to do a live sale soon um, together. And her Instagram is Instagram.com something latte. Back in the day, Steffi, not anymore though. Um, I don't actually watch Miss Philippines, but we. Always know who wins. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think sometimes... I think my mom might watch, maybe. Uh, we don't have TFC anymore. So... Or anything like that. Like, um, I think... Yeah. Like, back in the day when we used to have the channels, we would watch. But we don't have regular cable anymore, so... Wait, is TFC even still on anymore? Like, I know, like, since the pandemic, like, TFC actually, like, is no longer cable channel. I think now they're just on YouTube or something. I, for, I don't know how it works anymore. Oh, yeah. No, they're very into pageants in the Philippines. Like, it's amazing. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. For, Adrian, how much was this? Um, this is our coach... Love tote and black leather. And this one we're going to do under 100. We're going to do $95 on this one. 
And that's number six. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna have to tell my- well, maybe my mom does know. But... Yeah, we used to, like, watch it all the time. It used to be, like, we used to have TFC on all the time, Food Network, HGTV, but we'll hardly ever watch anything unless it's, like, on Hulu or Netflix or something. Like, life is so different now. But that's item number six, is our Coach Tote. Okay, next up, we have, let's do another pair of sunglasses. Um, all the sunglasses that I want to keep. Uh, okay, um, these sunglasses are so cool. These are the Gucci Heart sunglasses, and there they are. This is in kind of like a, almost like a vanilla-y kind of color frame and it just has Gucci on the side on the sides with a little B on the ends and then you have the yellow heart lenses and then they kind of are like they have like that crystal cut on them um there are like a couple light marks on the lenses but nothing crazy but the sunglasses are so cute on Oh, these are so fun. <laughs> I wish they fit my face better, though. If I feel like if they had, like, nose pieces, they would fit. But they're still so cute. These are definitely a fun statement. That's how they look on the sides. Um, yeah, they're so cute. I like having yellow lenses. They, like, make everything brighter and sunnier. It's so fun. Okay, so these are our Gucci heart sunglasses with yellow lenses. And these are going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're doing these, guys, for 200 That's going to be item number seven. Gucci heart sunglasses. <laughs> it's okay, Tanya. They're so cool. I like that the lenses have, like, that, like, rock cut. I think that's really cool. If my cheeks weren't so cheeky, these would, like, probably fit me better. Um. Oh, Dodoverd's calling them. Vadrian, did you ever ship out? Oh, and Vadrian said that they accidentally forgot, so... We will ship that out. Ship those out on Monday. Vadrian. But congratulations. Oh, yeah. Vadrian said they haven't shipped out any of the giveaways unless they went out with your order. Yeah. But the giveaways will go out on Monday. But congratulations, Dodo Bird. All right. That was number seven. Next up, we got number eight. All of the cool sunglasses. Yes. Let me just put this in here, though. Okay. Um, next up, I have... Oh, I kind of wanted to keep these. Wait, what's happening over there? The baby? Okay, next I have these, okay, these are Saint Laurent sunglasses, and they're a round pair. Oh, no, and, no, it's because, yeah, no, we're gonna, we, we only sent out the giveaways with the items that were, with orders that people have made, if that makes sense. So, the ones, if you didn't order anything, they're gonna come, they're just gonna go out separately on Monday, so... Yeah, you don't have to order anything for us to ship it out. It's just, we just haven't shipped them out yet. Yeah. Okay, so these are the next pair. These are Saint Laurent sunglasses. I love these. I told you guys I love, like, round sunglasses right now. And they have a, um, a gold frame. And the lenses are kind of like this yellowy, green, orangey, like, mirror lens. 
So these are so cute. They're kind of similar to the Gucci. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like the round sunglasses. I'm just like obsessed. They're very similar in style. These are just like the whole frame. These have like kind of like the squares in the middle. But these are all, yeah, so cute. And then they just say Saint Laurent on the sides. Like there. It doesn't really show. And then it's black on the ends. And that's how those look. These are number eight. They're gold uh, Saint Laurent. Oh, thank you, Linda. These are so cute. Um, round aviator sunglasses with um, mirrored leg, orange, what, like, what color is this? I would say they're kind of like more of like a, maybe it's like a gold, a gold green. Mirrored gold lenses. And these are going to be 130 and that's number eight. I know, I love the round lenses. I used to like not like round lenses, but then like recently I've been like obsessed over them. Okay, so that's item number eight. And next up, we got number nine. Wait, what happened? Oh, Don, your stuff is going to go out on Monday. Okay. And we have, this is a Brahmin. <laughs> Steffi. <laughs> uh, this is a Brahmin shoulder bag. I believe this color is called pe pe pecan, pecan, pecan. Um, the croc embossed leather. We have the little charm right there. There's a nice big back pocket for your cell phone. The straps are um, nice and long. So this fits really nicely on your shoulder. There is a little bit of rubbing right there on that corner, and. It's pretty much just that corner, just right there. It zips across the top. And interior, there are a couple little stains on the inside, right there. There's a zipper pocket, two open pockets, two pen pockets, and then the key fob. Right there. And there's the bag. It's really, really cute. I feel like this is a great everyday bag. And that's going to be um, number nine. This is our Brahmin brown crock embossed shoulder bag with gold hardware. And this one's going to be how much? Okay, we're, do this thing, we're doing this one for $45. It's going to be item number nine. And then for number 10, I have Okay, is going to be Oh my gosh. This is a Claire Vivier um satchel. It's very similar in style to the Speedy, to the Louis Vuitton Speedy, and it's in this a gray leather. It's like a pebbled leather brass hardware. The handles are in like this white cream color. And then the crossbody is in black. And oh, Cindy's calling number nine. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay! Oh, I'm so sorry, Angel. Cindy called that one right before you. But congratulations, Cindy. That one is going to you.
Okay, so this is, uh, oh, back to the player Vivier. So the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. Um, just the bottom looks like, there's the back. There is, like, maybe some slight rubbing on some of the, um, corner piping areas. Yeah, there's a little darkening. I wonder if I can or move it. Do I have my eraser here? Mm. Let's see if it'll come off with an eraser really quick. Oh, wait, it is kind of coming off. Nice. Okay, let's try to let's do this little corner over there. Do you see how it's dark? Let's see if we can lighten it up with the eraser. A lot of the other marks were coming off. So let's see how much. This one probably has more, way more um, rubbing than the top corners. But. Yeah, it's lightening up a lot. So. It'll be a lot lighter. I don't know if they'll completely come off. I can probably even color match this gray. Um, yeah, it's actually a lot lighter. Okay, if you purchase this, just let me know if you want me to color match it. Otherwise, I will just clean it off. But I know some people are particular about um, having their bags painted. But I can color match it if you want me to color match the corners. But otherwise, like, the bag is in really great shape. The interior is in a chambray lining. It's nice and clean inside of there. There's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket underneath that. So there's two interior pockets. And it does zip across the top right there. And that is going to be our Clara Vivier satchel in gray. Okay, this is our gray Claire Vivier satchel. Um, how much is this one, Adrian? Okay, this one we're going to do for $85. That's going to be number 10. Number 10. Next up, we have... Oh, wait, is, is Lady Badger here? Lady Badger, I wanted to show you your bag. You guys remember that um, Dooney and Burke that Lady Badger bought, and then we were going to do it that super fun Grinch green color? Um, I just finished it last night, and it is so stinking cute. Wait, is it... I feel like the color is getting... Kind of blown out. There you go. Isn't it so cool? It's like so like bright. I love it. Crossbody strap is all done too. It just looks so good. Like the color looks so amazing. Like. This is like one of a kind. I don't think there's any other Dooney. Like, I don't think you think Dooney and Burke does this color. So, it looks really cool. So, I'm really excited with how it turned out. But, yeah, Lady Badger, she's all done. So, we'll have this shipped out this coming week. Is it so good? I love it. I'm just going to put the strap inside, though. And if you guys remember, this was white. It used to be like a like a white cream color and now it's like the most fun like neon green color ever so very excited with how that turned out uh, okay so number 11 is up next and we have this is a rag and bone bag and it's just in this black 
perfor no, black perforated um, leather. Hmm. Oh, I can. It's a black perforated leather, so this is perfect to put your pins on. Um, it looks very similar to that Proenza that I had, um, as well. But this is a rag and bone. It's just black leather. Um, okay, so the crossbody strap on this one has, like, some damage to the end of it. So I was thinking of just removing it, because I have, like, this really cool black chain strap right here with the leather on the end, and it, like, matches the bag exactly. So... I will just include this strap with it, and if you wanted to cut this off, you totally can. Or if you wanted to just use this, you totally can. But it does have, like, some damage to the very top part of the leather strap. So I was just going to cut it off. But if you like that strap, I will just keep it. Uh, I will just leave it on. And you can decide to cut it off if you want, and then you can use this strap. It does have, like, little circle rings um, attached to the bag, and it looks good with the chain strap that I have. And the hardware matches, it's also black too. So we'll just keep both on there. Uh, drawstring and the interior, it's unlined. It's just in uh, the interior like suede, underside of the leather. And yeah, so it's rag and bone, really cute bag. Paint the white hammock in that. That would actually be really cool. <laughs> actually, that would be actually really fun. To paint it in that color. I mean, if anyone buy, if anyone wants that white hammock and buys it, I can paint it in that color for you. Uh, this is our rag and bone black leather perforated drawstring bag with extra black chain strap and this one's gonna be how much Peter? okay this this one's gonna be $65 it's gonna be number 11 all right next up and there's no pockets or anything inside of this it's just like open but it'd be perfect to put your little Pins and stuff on if you wanted, just like that Proenza. Uh, that was eleven. Next up is twelve. Oh, Anne's calling number eleven. Congrats, um, Anne. <laughs> number four. Oh, Erica, congratulations on number four. Yay! Where's the little clip? Yay! Congrats, Erica. Erica, you know what? This is actually a different Marc Jacobs um, bag. Like, it's very similar. I think it's almost exactly the same as the other one that I had. But it's actually a, a different bag because that other one sold already. I just got this one today. So congratulations to Erica and to Anne. And number 12... <laughs> and it's a it's a lot cheaper, Anne. Alrighty. Mmm. That reminds me. Let me ask Sean to walk the dogs. Okay. Next up, we have. Am I going to do another pair of Gucci sunglasses? I have two more pairs of sunglasses. They're both Gucci. And I want to hoard both of them because they're both so good. <gasps> I like both of them. Okay. I honestly don't know what to do because I love them both. Um... This one needs a wipe down. What are you... Wait, which one? Ooh, Linda, you should carry your Chanel tomorrow. I feel like that'd be really fun. 
Um, I don't think the Gucci's are for small heads. Maybe medium and then larger sized heads. Uh, because they fit me. Anything that I really, really like probably is not for a small size head because my head is so large. Um, okay, this is the first pair. They're so good. They're just like a black Gucci sunglass. So fabulous. They're a pretty good size. The other pair I have is actually larger than these. But these are really, really nice. Oh, nice, Anne. Oh, um, tomorrow... We are going to do, like, a Korean barbecue thing here at the house for dinner. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. <laughs> it's going to be, like, a Korean barbecue uh, dinner for, with the fam at the house. I think it's going to be warm tomorrow, too, so we may or may not do it outside. Um, it depends on how windy it's going to be. But this is our next item. They also will come with a case as well. And they have gold hardware, little gold pieces on these sides, and then in here as well. And then it just says Gucci. And you see they have the gold metal inlay also. But these are just really nice. They're such a good size. They're so, like, chic. Yes, Chanel tomorrow. Yay! Same Dawn. <laughs> Ooh, Eclair. I love a, I love a little Ferrilla bow bag. That sounds so cute. Okay, so these are our black Gucci um, sunglasses with gold hardware and case. Okay, and these are going to be 155. These are number 12, 155. These are fabulous. These are really, really nice. Okay, do you guys want to see the other pair that I have? Um, this is the pair that I'm Yeah, I think I'm going to keep I think I'm going to keep these. But I'm going to show it to you guys. They are so fabulous. They're, like, so huge. They're, like, these giant square Gucci's. And they have, like, the Gucci on the sides. And... <laughs> They're so big. I just love a large sunglass. Oh, Erica. That that little bag is so cute. You're gonna love it. Where'd it go? But congratulations on that bag. It's really, really cute. <gasps> Can you imagine a puzzle bag in this color? It would be so fabulous, actually. I would love a puzzle bag in that color. Okay, so that was our last sunglasses were the Gucci's because I'm probably going to keep these, I think. They're so fabulous. At least for now. And they were really expensive, so I don't know if I want to buy them with the price I have to sell them for. <laughs> They're so good. They're like ginormous. Now everyone's like, sell them. It was like a toss up between these and then these other ones. Like these are so good too. I'll probably just end up wearing both. Yeah, these are really cute. Hi, Jocelyn. Okay. 
So those are those. So next up is going to be number 13. Lucky number 13. What are we going to do? Ooh, since we are talking about Loewe, I still do have this Loewe bag available. And, oh, I still have these Chanel. See if anyone's interested in Chanel. Let me grab these. Hmm? No. They give Elton John vibes. <laughs> yeah, they are like Jackie O sunglasses. Okay. So, number 13. Loewe. This is the mini puzzle. Um mini puzzle bag and it's the edge version and this is the paula ibiza 2022 collection and it's in the ombre pink to orange it's so cute it has gold hardware it does have the crossbody strap i just don't have a dust bag for this but it comes with the little um leve card with the info on it as well as the little care booklet and strap mm -hmm. so cute and then here it is crossbody it's so good and for our Mother's Day price on this one, we'll do um, Loewe Mini Puzzle Edge Ombre Pink to Orange. And okay, we had this one at $1,500. We're going to do it for $1,250. Yeah? Okay, $1,250. That's going to be item number 13. Hi, Victoria. Theater and you want it. Okay, 1250 It's so cute. It's such a good size, too. Um, this one, like the... I told you guys that the, um, the Edge version of the puzzle bag is actually a little bit roomier than the regular puzzle. Just because the leather is, like, more squishy and, like, the bag, like, bends more. And it just is, like, a bigger bag. Oh, wait, that's Hepatia. Hi, Hepatia. <gasps> Hepatia, did you see all my sunglasses today? I have these Gucci's. It's so cute, Linda. I have these Gucci's. I have these Saint Laurent. Not me showing all the sunglasses again. I have these Marc Jacobs. These are so fun. They're like a cat eye, not cat eye. And then I have these are also Gucci. I got a lot of Gucci sunglasses today. And these are some round Gucci's. <gasps> no way, Anne. Oh, I still also have those Loewe sunglasses, too. I need to get, like, a tan so these, like, this, the tones look better. Okay. Next up, we have, those are all the sunglasses I got, right? I don't have any hiding in here. I think that is it for the sunglasses. Okay, yeah, that is it for the sunglasses. Okay, next up is number 14. 
Raspberry Rush. <gasps> Are you serious, Anne? Wow. Drowning in flat bags. Um, this is a Mason Margiela little card case. And it's super cute. It's in just black leather. And I love, like, it has, like, this cool, like, zipper pull that looks like a bracelet. <laughs> Hipatia! Stop! Uh, so, Beast and Margiela. Some balls right there on the front. And then the interior is just lined in black fabric. Oh, probably help if I turn that on. And then just has a little um, Margiela tag inside. Right? It's kind of like a bracelet. Like, that's why I like it. It looks like, um, what is it called? Um, it's like an ID bracelet. That's what it looks like. So it's really cool. And this one is number 14. And this is our black Mason Margiela uh, zipper card case with silver hardware. There is a little bit of tarnishing um, on the back of the hardware, but I don't know if I could polish it out. I don't know if it's like sterling or something. But yeah. How much are these, Vadrian? How much? Okay, $110. It's going to be item number 14. Oh, yeah. Those were the... Which ones were those? Were they the Bottegas? I think they were the Bottegas. Were they the Bottegas, I think so. Oh, the Gucci. Oh, the heart Gucci's. They're these, Linda. This little... They're the heart sunglasses. These are so fun. Out of all the heart glasses I've ever purchased, I'd probably actually wear these. <laughs> If they just didn't hit my cheeks every time I smile, which would be all the time. The YSL and the Dior studies. Which ones were the Dior ones? I don't remember. Oh, the large Dior ones, I remember. And I remember the YSL ones, too. <laughs> I have a problem with sunglasses. Yeah, I know, Vadrian. I'm gonna steal them back. All right, next up. What do I have in here? I'm not selling any of these sunglasses, am I? Me like looking through these. I don't even remember what I put inside of here. Oh no, not these. Okay. Um, and then I still have some of those older sunglasses, but I think everyone here has seen the other ones that I have. Um, what were they? I have like some Celine's and a bunch of Celine's actually. All right, 15 is next. Oh, we have our Chanel phone bag. It's in this glazed um, pearlescent blue with silver hardware. Really, really pretty. It comes with a little booklet and um, card as well. How it looks on the inside. You can wear a crossbody or double it up. <laughs> and 
So that is number 15, our pearlescent blue Chanel phone bag with silver hardware. And these are how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do our Mother's Day discount on that one. It's going to be $900 for that Chanel um, phone bag for $900. And then $16. Do I have any Fendi sunglasses? I don't think I have any Fendi. I think everyone wants the Fendi Gentle Monster ones. Mm, I can't sell those. my favorite. Oh, Steffi, I want a Dior book tote so bad. <laughs> the Dior book tote is like it's such a cute bag. I I just I love the one with the uh, it's like the animal print etoile. I don't know what it's called, but the one with the animal print is like my favorite. But they're so expensive. <laughs> I also do like just like the regular, um, the Dior like oblique ones, I think is that what, that's the pattern. But I feel like there's so many fakes. Can I see? I'm, but I'm not selling them, but I will show it to you. These are the Gentle Monster Fendi sunglasses. Do I? So these are the Gentle Monster Fendi's. And, oh, they're so cool. I love these sunglasses so much. I probably should sell some of the ones that I'm trying to hoard. I'm not selling these, Vadrian. I'm gonna sell you. Vadrian's trying to sell my sunglasses. Um, I guess. Okay, let me do these then. Maybe. No, but I like these. Okay, I'll do these. Um. Okay, I have these Fendi sunglasses. <laughs> that I guess I will sell. Ooh, I love the Reeve Gauche, Gauche toe. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, thank you, Don. Okay, so this is... Mm, I really like these. Yeah, they have a cute little visor, like a tiny baby visor, which is why I like them. Uh, it's like in blue, and then it says Fendi. <laughs> it has silver hardware. Um, the lenses are like a green, gray lens. Hadrian, you only have one face. <laughs> <laughs> a face that needs a new pair of sunglasses every day of the week. Of the year. Every day of the year. Um, okay. I guess I can put these up. Okay, these are number 16. Girl. Fendi Aviator sunglasses with blue mini visor. Um, yeah, the sunglasses are in pretty good condition. I think there's just, like, one little mark right there on the blue. It's, like, in the very corner, so it's, like, honestly not even noticeable. And the lenses are in pretty great shape. So. Uh, with silver frames and gray green lenses. 
<laughs> I don't have that many sunglasses. Okay, um, these we're gonna do for one fifty-five. It's gonna be number sixteen for the Fendi sunglasses. Oh, they do have the little Fs cut out too on the sides. Oh my gosh, Sam, that would actually be so cool. Okay, so there's that. Oh my gosh, I keep like knocking over these empty soda things. Okay, and then... What else do I have in here? Why am I selling the ones that I have over here? Am I gonna do like a pure, um, like a sunglass sale? Um, I also do have this red Chanel. This is the, what is it called? The accordion one with a secret pocket, silver hardware. There's the back pocket. The strap is a crossbody, or you can double it up and make it a shoulder bag. It's super cute. I love all the, uh, the sunglasses that you've gotten, Linda. The recent ones that you got, the Prada ones, are so good. I almost ended. I was almost gonna keep them if like no one bought them. I was like, this is the last time I'm gonna show these. Um, yeah, it's such a cool bag. I've showed you guys like how this bag like fits so much, and then when you take out like stuff inside, it just like shrinks down to like nothing. So it definitely like expands. It grows with like whatever you put inside. It fits so so much there's a zipper pocket there in the back and then everything else is just open and how much are we doing this one for Adrian? how much was this our chanel accordion this is number 17 chanel red accordion Flap bag with silver hardware. Okay, we had this one at 2800 Let's use that. We had this one at 2850 Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do a really good discount. Let's do... How much was the other one for? A spec fluence, <laughs> Erica. <laughs> Let's do Okay. Um what's the best deal we can do on this one? Let's do okay, we're going to go from two thousand eight hundred and fifty to two thousand I'm gonna take off five hundred. Two three five zero. Yes. Okay, there you go. That's number 17. Two, three, five, zero. For our Chanel accordion. She's so gorgeous. And then crossbody. It's like that. And then shoulder. But yeah, that's our little Mother's Day discount. Alright, next up is going to be number 18. My eyeballs. Ah! Okay, next up... I should just grab all my sunglasses. I just need to go through them. I have so many. I just know that I can't do the ones that I'm obsessed with right now. <laughs> Maybe if I find new ones to be obsessed with. Well, I feel like I already got rid of so many. I just know that there are specific ones that I would want to sell for sure. 
you guys want to see my thing of sunglasses? This is like my case of sunglasses. Don't look at the dust, it's a little dusty. But, but these are what I have in here. Let's do... <gasps> I guess I can do these Celines. Oh wait, I still have another pair of these, do I? The other red Celines? Exactly, Linda. <laughs> But Dawn, it's so exciting. It's like so, I feel like it's so cool for like when your kids are like going to college. I feel like it's such like a cool like accomplishment. I know Pandora's box. All right, Jazz, these are Red Celine. The, these have like, these are um, our new Celine and then they have like the cool like old hardware design on the sides. And these are number 18, red, <laughs> uh, Celine round sunglasses. And they're kind of like, like they're kind of like see-through, which is really cool. And they have a gradient gray lens. And they're in really great shape. And these are 150. So that's number 18. Mm, what else? What else do I have that I can do? Not me not wanting to let any of these sunglasses go, though. These are very similar. There's those. I feel like they're both such a different vibe. Good night, Marjorie! No, oh, I like these. Wait, these are the ones that I matched with mom. <gasps> no, I can't sell these. We're twins. Um, these Tom Fords are, they're black with a silver hardware, and then they have a gray lens, and these are number 19, black Tom Ford sunglasses with silver hardware, and these are, how much are you Mm, these are so cute. Okay, these are gonna be um, one twenty-five for these guys. They're in really great shape. Um, they say Tom Ford on the ends, just right there. That's number nineteen, and then we have. Should I do these gentle monsters? No. No, I like these. Oh, those are the only ones that I'm keeping from that. Oh, I do. Okay. I'm. Maybe these. Um, these are um, Fendi. And they're called the Dior Composite. Um, I think this is. Hmm? Or not Fendi, Dior, not Fendi. These are Dior. They're the Dior composite um, sunglasses. They do have wear to them. Like there's, the f metal hardware is black, but some of the black is coming off. Some of the black is coming off. Um, it has a mirrored like gray lens. 
And they do have like some marks like around the edge, like the edges. But they're so cool. <laughs> Erica, it's such a cute bag and it's in really great shape too. Um, I think it's actually missing one screw. Yeah, it's missing one screw. It doesn't affect sunglasses at all, but there's a one, like, it's not a screw, but it's like the little, um, the nut that goes around the screw. It's missing on that one piece right there. I think you can get it replaced, but I've never done so. But this is how they look. I feel like they're such cute sunglasses. But there we go. Um, these are, they're really cool. This is the larger version of these, um, sunglasses. They're from, like, the men's line. So they're larger. The, the regular ones, like, the women's, uh, like, the, from the women's line of these sunglasses, they're usually a lot smaller. So, these are actually a pretty good size. I wish they were just a little bit bigger. Otherwise, I would definitely keep them. I, I used to wear these all the time. Um, this is going to be number 20. Okay. So these are green Dior, um, what are they called again? Dior Composite 10. Okay, and we're just going to do these. They do have, like I said, they do have, like, some wear and... Um, it is missing, like, one of the little things that go around the hardware, but the hardware is still there. It's just missing the little, other little piece. Um, we're going to do these for just $85. They're really cool. <laughs> I just, I, I love the color of these, too. They're really fun. These are 85. What else do I have? I think that's it. That I'm willing to part with at the moment. You, know, you guys know I love, like, a good aviator. Oh, yeah, I can't do these. I love these. Um, what else do I have? I think that's it for the sunglasses at this time. Uh, okay, next up. <laughs> uh, let's do the Chanel backpack. We got mustard, the Chanel backpack. He's clear on top, silver hardware. Um, you can actually wear him as a shoulder bag too because the strap extends on the top handle. He wears a shoulder bag. The other day we had a quick panic attack because Eliza unscrewed the little turn lock right here. But don't worry, it just goes right back on. But I remember Yasmin like literally had like a heart, like she had like a full on proper heart attack when Eliza unscrewed this, but it just screws right back on. Silver hardware, the bag zips right here around the bottom. There's the interior right there. It does have some slight discoloration, the interior lining there. But the exterior leather looks really good, the plastic like the PVC is really good too. And this is Hidden Think Micro Cradle when you go shopping. <laughs> okay. Um what happened again? Okay. This is number uh, 
Wait, what happened? Okay, 21. Yellow. Oh, just because he likes to unscrew things. <laughs> he likes to take things apart. He's like Tinkerbell. <laughs> Cause this thing turns, like it like the thing spins. And then you can actually make the whole thing spin. Like that. Now I'm gonna freak you guys out. But it's like really easy to take on and off. Like it just goes like that. So and then it just goes right back on. So it's honestly like not that big of a deal, but it was really funny because Yasu was just like so shocked that it happened. And I think we were just like all in shock when it happened. So yeah, there you go. Backpack with silk. I was like, wait, huh? I thought he took off something else. If he took off the CC part, I was just like, oh. but I knew like the turn locks, they usually all come off like that. Um, how much is this, Vaden? Okay, this one we're going to discount to $1,950. And I think Steffi sent this bag to me and it was on first tips for like 4000 So, uh, we're going to do a good deal. Now we're 21. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny when that happened, though. Eliza is hilarious. He literally tries to take everything apart. He tries to open everything. He's, like, obsessed with Legos. He's obsessed with Rubik's cubes and stuff. And it's, yeah, it's really funny. He just opens up everything. If he can, he'll do it. If he sees a screw loose on something, he'll undo it. What happened to that? Can I have something inside of here? Where did I take it out? Where did it go? I'm going crazy. Alright. So that's our backpack. Ooh, 4100. Sotheby's! That's what it was. Sotheby's. That's nuts. 22. I have a... This is a Coach um, flat bag. And it's in a quilted black leather. And then it has these little gold studs in between the quilting and we have the turn lock it does have like some marks on the hardware especially around the turn lock and there is some color loss on the turn lock as well and also around the grommets of the chain strap up top and the strap is convertible so you can wear it as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. There's a nice big back pocket right there. When you open up the bag, the interior has, uh, there's a pocket right here in the very front. And then there's a, another pocket here in the back. And there's the interior. There needs a good vacuuming, but there aren't like any like stains or anything inside of there. It just needs... A little bit of a vacuuming, I'm sorry. I didn't get to do that. Um, and then it just has the microfiber lining on the inside. So this is our black quilted coach convertible flap bag with the gold hardware. And this one is gonna be how much food range? And this one's going to be $65. Oh, it's sold already, Steffi? I didn't even notice. I didn't even check to see if it was sold or not. Like, when I looked at it, I didn't, like, notice to see or if it said anything about being sold. Ooh, remember I had that red backpack? The red Chanel one? That was, like, all um, that red lambskin leather that I gave to my mom 
That backpack is so cute. Okay, so that's number 22 is our coach. And then for um, number 24, or 23, 23. this is a vintage um, Dooney and Burke belt. It is, like, so cute. It's just, like, a plain brown leather. Then it has, like, the brass hardware. It has um, the stamping right on the inside. And this is, like, vintage. Because it has, like, the older stamping, too, with the D and the B on it. And this is a size 26. So it's 26 um, inch weight. Or 26, like, waist size. For this belt and it has like the brass hardware um, it does have like some tarnishing on the brass but that can be polished and um, the leather does have like some wear to it but it's still like a cool vintage Dooney and Burke belt now I think I have another Dooney and Burke belt somewhere that's also vintage it has like a quilted or like a woven leather look to it so that's number 23, Vintage, Dooney and Burke belt with brass hardware, size 26. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're just going to do this one for $25. That's going to be number 23. Next, we have, oh, okay, um, these pants are Dion Lee, and I need to figure out how this goes really quick. They're a size, um, pretty small. I think they're a size four. Yeah, they're a U.S. size four. And I don't know if you guys know the brand um, or Dion Lee, but they make like those corset tops that were like really, really popular. Um, especially when I think someone wore it on like Euphoria or something. And that's when like everyone was like up super obsessed. Um, but these are, I think these pants also went viral. I don't know how, the best way I'm going to be able to hold this, but. This is like Cat's Cradle. <laughs> Okay, Vader, can you send me a photo? <laughs> um, the I'm gonna send, I'm gonna post a photo, but these are the pants. Um, Vader is sending me a photo of what they look like. Can you send me like a screen grab? Actually, I'll just do it. Okay, this is how the pants look. They look like this. So they have like little cutouts on the sides, but they're covered by the buckle. So it's very like, it's not as cutouty as um, some of the other pants. And then this is how it looks on from behind. So these are the pants. They are um, they're a size four. And 
On my Teresa, they are five hundred and fifty-six dollars. I'll actually put the link up if you guys want to see, um, so you guys can see like the dimensions. These are the links, the link for the pants, um, and they're a size four. They're actually pretty fabulous. They look really good on. Yeah, they're really cute. They're kind of like um, a high-waisted pant. And they are number 24. How much are we doing these for, Adrian? Black Dion Lee pants, size 4. And you said one one fifty. And that's number 24. And they're still available on my Teresa for five fifty six. So that's number 24. And then... Right, Steffi? Like, I feel like there's such cool pants. I was, like, looking everywhere for the top. I was like, is the top here somewhere? Like, that corset top? I know it comes in, like, a t-shirt kind of version. And then, um, like, a tank top version. But it was, they're really cool. And then 25 is next. And... Oh, I still have these guys. These are the Roger Viviers. Um, these are how much, Adrian? Like $1,200. These are still available online, too. These are a size 7 and a half. Um, gorgeous black satin with a jeweled buckle. I have um, the dust bag as well. These are Roger Viviers, size um, 7 and a half. <laughs> Steffi, you're just tiny. You're like the opposite of me. Except I'm not tall either. I'm not tall, so. With that, with that one exception. Okay, so these are our black satin Roger Vivier uh, flats with jeweled buckle. Size 37.5. And these are $200. So $1,000 off. They're in really good shape, too. Uh, that's number 25. And then 26. I have a... Oh! I have this really cute Claire Vivier belt bag. And it's in this red leather. And then it has the brown belt strap. This one, the belt strap, is actually a really, really good length. Yeah, this one, like, you can wear really nicely as, like, a, like, a body bag. And so it's red leather, brown leather strap. Even the connector back here is in the same colored brown leather. And then it just zips across the front. And then the interior is just in our chambray fabric lining. And it's nice and clean on the inside. And... I believe all of her leather goods, at least the bags, are made locally in LA. So it has like that made in USA tag right inside. Oh, it does also have brown leather piping all around. And this is uh, number 26. So red Claire the VA belt bag with brown leather trim and gold hardware and this one we're going to do for $85 as well that's going to be item number 26 also let me leave the link again for the giveaway for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter there's that link right there 
And we're giving away these two things tonight. It's the unicorn uh, mirror and then the little Rila Kuma ice cream bear uh, keychain charm. Um, okay. I think we're just going to go to 27 tonight. Or tw not 27, to 30. So we just have a couple more items and then we're going to call it a night. Oh, also, happy Mother's Day! It's already midnight! Yay! All well, here in California. But happy Mother's Day, everyone! Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I also do have... This is a Loewe... The Loewe Gate phone bag. And it's in this highlighter yellow with a cute little smiley face. And then it has a brown leather um, strap for the crossbody, which is adjustable and has silver hardware. And it just has a magnetic snap at the top. It's super satisfying to open and close it. The sound is amazing. There's a back card pocket right there. And then it's lined in black leather. And that's Debbie, what are you drinking? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Hipatia. Oh, you're back to your regular um, name photo thing. Okay. So this is our neon green Loewe smiley face um, gate phone bag with brown leather trim and silver hardware. And this guy is how much, Adrian? Okay, we had this one at six forty-five, but we're gonna do five twenty-five tonight. That's going to be item number 27. 525 for our Loewe smiley face phone bag. And this one's in like new condition. It's in really great shape. Vodka. Ooh, Steffi. I do like the orange part. I'm allergic to alcohol, so I don't drink alcohol. Gatorade? Ooh, I do like Gatorade. Oh my gosh, I used to drink so much Gatorade back in high school. Way too much Gatorade. Uh, next is going to be... What else do I have? Did I forget any? Oh, I still also do have... This is the Chanel belt bag in silver. Um... Clotro was modeling it. Ooh, all of my stuff fell. Don't mind the avalanche of sunglass cases behind me. But he's modeling our belt bag. It's in this quilted silver leather. Metallic and gorgeous. It also has ruthenium hardware. It buckles at the back. So cute. Alright, we're going to take this off of Totoro. There is a back zipper pocket right here. And then there is just one interior pocket on the inside, just right there. And that's the, um, cert that's the certificate of authenticity I have inside of there. And it just has a little CC logo hardware right there. Right, Steffi? This is such a cute bag, honestly. And the belt size is actually pretty big. I think it fits up to like a 38-inch waist. Um, and then it's a great just as like a, like a body bag like that. And it's in really great shape. It does have like some... Um, coloration on the corners. I will touch it up though before we ship it out, but I kind of like it like this. So like I just leave it because it makes it kind of like look fun and aged. And I can leave it like that if you want, but um, if you want me to, I can't touch it up. I do have the exact same color as this. So I can touch up all the parts that has any of the rubbing, which is mostly just like the corners on the back and a little bit like around the zipper. Super, super cute. Oh, and also a little bit on the, um, the strap. 
It's such a cool bag. I love this bag so much. It's so cute. And why do I have this backwards? There you go. There you go. And this is our silver quilted Chanel belt bag with ruthenium hardware. And this one's how much, Peter? Okay, this is 1,800. That's number 28. And to think I almost dyed this bag black. I think it's actually really cute in this silver. It's like a darker silver too. It's not like a bright silver. Vidrian's like, you should dye it black. Should I dye it black? I mean, I could dye it black. It wouldn't, it would actually be pretty easy to dye it black. Actually, it would actually take a hot second though, actually. Because I have to take off all the silver so the dye sits on him nicely. Not me thinking about dyeing it black now. <laughs> hey, Fadia! Yay, you got them! We're gonna be twins! I, this is the one I got from last year, so. It's so cute. I agree, Steffi. I always like metallic, so I'm like obsessed with anything metallic. Thank you, Erica. See, Adrian? Everyone has to keep it silver. I'm obsessed. Did I ever show you? Oh, I think I showed you guys. I dyed, or uh, I painted, um... I have my... Chanel um, key case. This used to be black and I painted it like this metallic silver. It's so cute. This like this was like such a hot mess when I got it. Like the leather was like literally like disintegrating on the corners and I just like got it like as like a little project thing. But I love it. Like I love having my keys in here. It's literally like I didn't think I would like it as much because I never thought I would like actually use it. I just got it because it was cheap. But it looks so cute in, like, this metallic blue. And it's, like, so shiny. I love it. So I'm obsessed with, like, metallic things. Oh, I was like, where is it? <gasps> Angela! No! Are they the, uh, I think I saw it, like, someone post them on Instagram. Are they, like, the, they have, like, the... They're not jeweled, but they're like the squares. And then I think it it's like a rainbow, right? Or something. I'm so jealous of the cups that they get like in Asia because they get such cute colors. And I like literally just want everything. Okay, Totoro, you gotta move out of the way. Go gold, <laughs> Patia. Okay, uh, so that was 28. Okay, two more items. 29 is... I did all the sunglasses. I did that wallet. Um, Totoro, excuse me. You can just stay there. Oh, I still have this. Um, this is the brand new... Judy and Burke hobo bag. This has, it comes with the original tags on it, and I also do have the dust bag as well. But it's like a large hobo shoulder bag with the polished, uh, or the brushed brass hardware. It also does have the dust bag on the inside. Oh, then I didn't see it, Angela. I thought I saw it on, on, like, Instagram or something. I saw, um, I actually went to Starbucks today, and they had, like, barely any cups left. And I don't even know if this is a new cup, but they had this really pretty rainbow floral cup, and it was glass. But it was the smaller size. It was, like, this big. But it was really, really cute. 
Also, I caved in and I bought a Stanley Cup because the Starbucks had that collab with Stanley at Target, and it was, like, that pink. But, like, I saw one at Urban Outfitters, and it was in this really cute, like... I'll show you guys in a second. But <laughs> it was such a cute color. And I always... I have this cup that I, I always have, like, this hydro flask that I always keep my water in. But the base is so big that it doesn't fit in the cup holder of my car. And then I got this attachment or, like, um, this, like, other, like, an attachment for my cup holder so I can put this inside. But it has, like, this rubber thing on the bottom. And it always gets stuck on the thing. But I hate taking this off because I hate the sound that it makes when I set it against something hard. So I have the rubber thing on it because I have problems. And, yeah. So, anyway... Black Duty and Burke Large Hobo Shoulder Bag. New with tags and dust bag. This is how much, Peter? Like, was like 135. Okay, we're going to see this for 120. Okay, 120, that's number 29. Okay. And then number 30 is, let's just do number 30 really quickly. And I'll show you guys my cup, and then we're going to do um, the giveaway. Oh, while we're on Mason Margiela, because I had the little, ooh, they like match. That's cool. Um, this is a Mason Margiela large zip pouch, and it's just in this black leather. And then it has these, um... Velcro pieces on the back. You can like attach this to like a bag or like a strap and then wear it like as a body bag. I think that'd be really cool. Um, it just has. Oh, Lady Badger's calling 29. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Um. What would I say? Oh, microfiber lining. It just has the tag right inside of there. Zips across the top. It also has like little numbers on the zipper pull, which I thought was really cool. But this is. Oh, good night, Linda. And oh, happy Mother's Day. Have a good day tomorrow with your family. Okay, this is blue. Ah! Well, oh, sorry. Okay, black. Um, Mason Margella zipper pouch and this is how much Peter? okay we're gonna do this one for $95 Mason Margiela that's number 30 okay and then let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway Okay, there is the link for the giveaway. Oh, here's my cup. It's so cute and it's huge. It's in this like cream off-white color. Um, I don't know if it says the name of the color anywhere, but I think they don't, they only had three colors there. They had or two. They had this color and then they had black. So, but it's kind of like this cream vanilla e color. I like that it has this straw. It's fantastic. I'm very excited to use this. I also really like the handle. That's really nice. Stanley. Alright, guys. Well, that is it for the night. Let's do our giveaway, and then we're going to call it a night. And I got to clean up and get ready for Mother's Day tomorrow gonna be so much fun i hope you guys all have a great day tomorrow though um
Good night, Chazapeller. <laughs> Angela, I love falling into the hype of the cups, but I always love like a good cup, so it's totally cool. All right, we're gonna pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. It looks like our winner is Angela. Congratulations! My favorite ice cream flavor is Sticky Toffee Pudding from Universal Studios in Harry Potter World. Oh, that sounds delicious. Congratulations, uh, Angela. You are the winner tonight. Um, you are receiving this super cute unicorn mirror and our little Rilakkuma ice cream keychain. Congratulations, Angela. Um, Erica, if you decide to, if you do decide you want it, just send me an email. So just send me an email right there. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to list it anywhere yet. <laughs> so if you do decide that you like it, um, you can have it for the price it was from tonight. So just send me an email and then we'll send you an invoice if you're interested in it. All right, Steffi, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll email them back and say that I'll do a video for them or something. Hopefully, they don't hate me because I never replied back to them. So... <laughs> but um, that is it for the night. Again, congratulations, Angela. And thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. Happy Mother's Day. Um, invoices will be sent out within the next 15 minutes. And, yeah, everyone have a great Sunday. Um... And I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right. Good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage. I got to clean up. And I'm going to go find something to eat, too. I'm starving. All right. Good night, guys. Bye.